Hey everyone, this is Richard Mitchell with Joystick and Xbox360Fanboy.com, and we're taking a look at the new Xbox experience. Uh, this is just a general overview video. We're also doing individual videos for each of the different features. So if you see something in this video and you want to know more about it, you can check out the video dedicated to that feature. Uh, we're starting off with My Xbox, which is pretty much just like it was on the original dashboard. You have the option to uh, play uh, whatever game is in your tray. You can take a look at your profile. Here's my avatar with my gamer score with the latest games I've played. You can actually move your avatar around a little bit by uh, using the right stick. In fact, I can even uh, make him dizzy. <laughs> and let's see, I can go to the game library where you can take a look at all the different games you own. Videos, music, pictures, uh, media center, and then your basic system settings. If you don't want to go through all of these options one at a time, you can also click the left and right buttons. Just sort of quickly scroll through them. And here's the friends tab. Now the friends is uh, friends list is different, as you can see. Uh, no one has the NXE yet, so none of the avatars are showing up. But once everyone has the NXE, you'll be able to see your friends' avatars. You can see what game is being played. He's playing Fable 2. Uh, that one's on the dashboard, more Fable 2. And you just kind of scroll through your list, and it's kind of a nice little snapshot of uh, what your friends' avatars look like and what they're up to. And the inside Xbox, which is pretty much the same as it was before, uh, has all the same videos, certainly a lot more visually appealing. You might actually want to watch some of them now. Uh, there's also animated ads occasionally, which we might see one of those. Uh, different events. This is the events tab. Family game night, community play date, all-nighter for Condemned 2, for Halloween. Here's the welcome screen. Now, the welcome tab has videos like tutorials on how to use the NXE. Uh, and one nice thing about this is that you can actually remove this channel, so you don't have to have the welcome screen on there forever. But uh, you can use it right when you get the NXE to learn how to use it. There's the uh, spotlight section, which has uh, just quick access things you might want, like playing a game. Here's your profile again. Uh, just stuff that Microsoft wants you to know. Things like Fallout 3 is out now, the new portal for Xbox Live Arcade, you know, videos on uh, Marketplace, things like that. And then here's the game marketplace, which has the community games. We'll take a look at those really quick. Uh, these are the XNA community games. These are being launched for the NXE. Not a lot available right now, just three. And uh, at least one of these was available when they were doing the demos before. So going back out of that. And just really quick looking at the game marketplace. Actually going into it, we'll look, take a look at the new arrivals. And we'll go up to game demos and like take a look at uh, Viva Pinata. So click on that, and you can get a lot of information. Obviously, you can download the demo. It will also show you featured downloads for that game. You can take a look at screenshots. There's details for the game, description. Uh, so you get a lot more information. Plus, you get more access to things about that game than you did in the old marketplace. Uh, Video marketplace works the same way. You can look at all the different information about a movie or a TV show, including the actors, you know, plot summaries, things like that. All right, here's Video Marketplace, and in Video Marketplace is Netflix. We'll just open that up really quick. It takes a minute to boot up. Very easy to set up, though. So here's my Netflix library, lots of different movies. I go down to the end. We're at Pirates of the Caribbean. We'll start that up. And everything you do in Netflix obviously has to buffer before you can watch it. Okay, there it goes. So Pirates of the Caribbean there starts up. You can see I've actually been watching this a little bit, so I'm into part of the movie already. It uh, saves your location. And now that I've got pirates on the brain, I think I'd like to play Age of Booty, so... Let's just go ahead and pause this. Open up the guide. The guide is really cool. The guide is just a miniature version of the old dashboard. You can go to Marketplace, Games, your profile, look at your media, change your settings... Uh, and you also have this new feature called Quick Launch, which is really cool. So, I want to play Age of Booty, because Pirates of the Caribbean got me thinking about it. There it is. You can 
startup any of your more recently played games. Check out your latest games and all. I'm just going to fire up Age of Booty there. And there it goes. It just starts right up. And there's Age of Booty. Play it right now. Just sit here and play it for a while. Invite some of my friends to play. And just like before, you can bring up the guide. Go right back to the dashboard. And that's pretty much it. That's the NXE at a glance. Again, we have videos dedicated to each of the different features, so if you want to learn more, you can check those out and learn about the new Xbox experience.